go. And so off the tip, it's Boston. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Then it's Williams. And it's Pritchard in at the one. For the teams that are clearly rebuilding, Greg, should they simply play the young guns no matter what, or should they make them earn their minutes? I think there should be a combination. And, and as long as guys are pros and really approaching the game the right way, you want to give them an opportunity to grow, and also it gives you a chance to evaluate. And it's Brown missing. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Louisville. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldrin. Hey, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Ime Adoka. I asked Coach what advice he gave to his team on how to slow down James Harden tonight. Coach said, I told them not to reach. The moment you reach on James is either going around you or he's going to the free throw line. He's the best in the game at that. That is certainly true. Back to you. Thank you, David. Celtics on offense, fresh from a win against Portland. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Yeah, and in that game, it turned into a massive scoring night. It wasn't so much about the, the game plan as it was establishing early confidence to get that win. Tatum's gone one of three on the night. The train. And James Harden with the three. And without a doubt, one of the most advanced scores this game has ever seen. Harden can do damage from just about anywhere. And Bobby Portis, an interesting talent. He can play back to the basket. He can play one dribble away. And as a stretch five, if they play small, he's able to knock down three. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. Took him no time at all on that one. Brown's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Louisville. Here's Pritchard. Fires for three. And Brown is good for three. Brown's got five. Well, we know Bobby Portis, Brent, has bounced around between teams. But as you said, the shooting has been there. The shooting has been there, and that's when he came in to the NBA as a great rebounder, but a great scorer coming in. And now he's finding more confidence in being able to step to the three-point line and let it rip. That's the problem. Shoots the three, and again, Boston with the triple. And so it's Louisville with it, trailing by two, passes it to Brown. Harden outside. Louisville passing it around. Back to Portis. And the pass to Harden. From downtown, that one dropped for his second bucket. Again, two for four. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line. And I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. Here's Pritchard, and there's a whistle that goes on John Conchon. That's his first foul. First team foul. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. And it's Brown missing. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. Nice shot by Portis. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. A shot by Pritchard, no good. That's not going to make you a favorite target of your teammates. They'll think twice about feeding you if you're going to keep missing layups. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. And now the first timeout call here for Boston. Giving up a run here. Can, can they turn it around? It's hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. Platoon swap here for Louisville. And with spring right around the corner, let's see who's flourishing in the power rankings. You look at Boston. They're stuck in the same spot, but still a top 10 team. You know, right now for Louisville, they just crushed expectations all season long. Only a few people thought they could sustain this level of excellence. 
but here they are. Hardaway with a wide open look. Two knocks Hardaway down the three Jr. ball. Three He's points. got some growing confidence right now in the catch and shoot game, Hardaway Jr. Feels like he could score from anywhere. A three, and again, it's Louisville from deep. Yeah, this looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes they're allowing. It's smart with the drive. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Here's Cassell. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Pass to Muscala. Unloads from 13. Good and Mike smart gets Muscala. the assist. So far, both teams scorching the net. You gotta love it. Yeah, made for TV game here. Pace is great, scoring is coming in bunches, and both of the teams feeling confident right now. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Yeah, that along with maintaining the pace of play right now, playing with tons of intensity. Now, here is Muscala. Tatum on the wing. to Hardaway. Five on the clock. Back to Smart. Over right. Smart misses. Louisville leading by eight. Outside jump. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by Hardaway. And for Louisville, they come off a good outing against the Hornets. Outside, Smart. 11 left to play in the first. Tatum on the wing. Lays it up off the glass. Jesus. Tatum's got his second bucket of the night. A mix of agility and strength makes Tatum lethal inside. He can easily work around the out defense. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Louisville keeps possession. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. Catching up on the changes for Louisville. Portis comes in for Bialica, and Brooks subbed in for DeLon Wright. And a change for the Celtics. Whiteside's checked in for Muscala. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Smart kicks to Tatum. Into the lane. And the dunk by Tatum. And you get the sense Tatum is used to getting hit when, when he's penetrating inside. It almost seems as if he embraces those challenges. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Tatum's got 10 points in the game. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Here's Coffee. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. The three from Tatum. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Puts up a three. Coffee can't get it to go. On the wing, Hardaway. Takes a three. Good hustle play from Amon Shepard. Always wanting to shut down whoever he's guarding. And so it's Louisville with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for Louisville. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. And it's Harden with the ball for Louisville. Six-point lead on the court for the Celtics. We've got Tim Hardaway Jr. on out there with Williams. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard. Here's Harden. That one's all good. Now he's three for five from the field. And that's a nice play. Harden sure knows how to use that body and lift inside. 
Williams a screen on Brooks hard away with it and it's Harden picking him up. Here's Pritchard six on the shot clock. Here's Williams doesn't go that time. Great D that time from Portis. Louisville leading by eight. Harden kicks to Portis. Shoots it up. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got four assists now tonight. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Williams. And finished off by Williams. And, and didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Celtics trail by eight. Passes it to Pritchard. It's stolen by Jenkins. Harden finds Brooks. And he's good on the free ball. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now here is Hardaway. And then Hardaway. The Hardaway, Jr. Now Hardaway Jr. up over top right there, rising up. Get ready for the gift squad. He checks in for Portis. Conchar comes in for Jenkins. And it's DeLon right in for Brooks. And the Celtics also making a change. Buscal has checked in. And every year we see, Greg, some incredible comebacks. What distinguishes in your mind those with the resilience to battle back? I think it starts with a belief and desire. And the great ones truly hate to lose. Now here's Brown. He's got eight. Comes up empty here. That puts him at three for six. Louisville leading by nine. It's Harden with the drive. And the layup falls. Harden's got ten points. His shooting has been outstanding. Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And the Celtics with possession here. The pass to Hardaway. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Brown wide open. He fires. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got six assists now in the game. Pritchard passes to Muscow. Dishes it to Brown. Back to Muscala. The shot. No good. Now Louisville takes it the other way. The feed to Brown. Louisville passing it around. Score the bucket. He's made five so far. Shooting a very clean five of seven. And on the offensive end, Harden can be such a monster. So far, he's had little trouble finding his shots. Now, here's Brown. That one wide left. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing.
get ready for the Gear Squad. Whitesides checked in for Boston. Smart comes in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And a chance here to check out some stamps for Jason Tatum. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. To the inside. Can they get it? And that one is well, stuck right stopped. through. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Harden against Brown. Harden, no good. Yeah, better than giving up the layup. You want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. That's their third straight make off an assist. Celtics trail by 18. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Whiteside dishes to Brown. And Muscala has it in the corner. Back to Brown. Here's Whiteside, and the jam by Whiteside. Whiteside. And the skills of Brown. Just about super athlete, but a tremendous floor general as well. Dwayne Dedman's checked in for Muscala, and it's Tatum in for Brown. And so it's Wright bringing up the ball for Louisville. Cassell gets the bucket. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Celtics trail by 19. Here's Pritchard over right. Here's Whiteside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Well, it's almost as if Whiteside had a watch on and showed patience waiting for the defense to come down and draw the foul. And both free throws good from Whiteside. Louisville leading by 17. It's Brooks on the wing. Three-pointer. Rebound, Boston. Here's Pritchard. Outside, smart. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Celtics passing it around. Pass to Pritchard. Shot clock at five. Over Cassell. Boston again missing. And here's Louisville. Brooks kicks to Jenkins. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First personal And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting for Louisville. And he makes the first. Robert Williams, he's checked in for Whiteside. And so he hits both. There's a minute 40 left here in the second. Smart against Brooks. Here's Pritchard. Shoots from 12. And he knocks down the jumper. Pritchard's got his second basket of the game. Boy, did he burrow his play in there, and the D just sort of backed off. Pass to Cassell. Three-pointer right. It's Deadman with the rebound. Celtics trail by 17. Smart with the ball. He's picked up by Brooks. Smart misses. There's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Pass to Coffee and stolen by Tatum. And pushing it up, here's Boston. 
Here's Pritchard. And Wright pulls it down. Wright's got four rebounds now tonight. Brooks with it. Edmonds there. Right from outside. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. And those aren't the type of three-point opportunities that you can allow in the NBA. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Williams, a screen on right. Pritchard passes to Williams. It's deflected. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. So it's Boston now. Now here's Tatum. Launches it. Trains it from beyond the arm. Tatum's got 13. A elite from deep. Tatum joined the league as a fantastic three-point shooter. Didn't have to add that. That's the end of the game. James Harden getting it done for Louisville. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Hey, James, we know that scoring seems to come easy for you. How do you create that mentality out there? I just like to have fun. You know, it's all for the kids. It's all for the fans. You know, I think that's what we're here for. And so, um, you know, guys, just go out there and compete, have fun, and just play hard. My family doesn't think it's all for the kids, but I appreciate your sentiment. Back to you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, David, and we'll be right back after halftime to start the third quarter. See you in just a bit. Welcome to halftime, folks. Before we talk about the game, let's check out who won Player of the Month in both the East and West. And Shaq, you won Player of the Month in every... And circling back on this first half of action, James Harden on fire. He's been excellent so far, shooting with great efficiency, carrying the offense. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. Get ready for the Death Squad! And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. And guys, we saw just how tough he can be with the step to the rim. Great job of just attacking that first half. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court for Louisville, we've got Harden. Portis is out there with Brown, and it's Jenkins in at the power forward. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Harden. The pass to Pritchard. Brown feeling it out a bit. Williams sends a screen for Brown. Six to shoot. It's stolen by Jenkins. And here we go. Harden heading to the hoop. And the jam by Harden. And when he's in the open court, Harden has one thing on his mind. Tip. Here's Pritchard. Brown outside. Nine feet out. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. And again, it's Louisville from deep. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. I mean, this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Richard. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. Here's Conshaw. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Conshaw's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. From 12 feet out, and again, it's Boston converting. 
but the defense has no answer for Brown. When, when he's dribbling the ball, his teammates know they are in good hands. Nice shot by Portis. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his oh, killer yeah. instinct, just fanning the flame. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. In. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Outside Tatum. And too long on the shot. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Harden inside the three-point line. And again, it's Louisville converting. And everything is dropping for them. Terrific second half run. Well, with the confidence growing, that's one thing. But they seem to be getting more intense, and that's helping the quality of their play here. And it's Williams throwing Robert it down. Williams. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. The three from Harden. And again, it's Louisville from deep. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Hardaway against Harden. Hardaway dishes to Brown. Williams in the post. Here's Watford. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent passing. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. Hardaway against Brown. On the wing, Williams. Brown outside. Outside Hardaway. Down to five on the shot clock. Williams trying to break free, and it's Boston with another. Yeah, whenever he's got a little room, if the ball's in his hands, Hardaway Jr. looking to score. Here's Harden, and the jam by Harden. And uh, kind of par for the course here, right? Coming through with a solid offensive game to help them get this lead. On offense, here are the Celtics. Pass to Brown. That one, no good. Now Louisville takes it the other way. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. This quarter belongs to him, and that's how you do it when you're out in front. Don't play it safe. Keep that momentum going. Watford, that's good. So many different offenses that Tim Hardaway Jr. has played in, but he's trying to improve in his on-court awareness. A good show of it there. It's Harden with the drive, and the jam by Harden. And really the story of this Defense second half. One team on. getting the shots Trended they want, the other. First person so much. This First team did foul. something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing James team Harden. to some heroic one shooting the in the second Two half. Shots. And few guys can score like James Hart. His ability to fill it up not only makes a huge impact for his team, also won him a few scoring titles in the league. And that one is good. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Louisville passing it around. A three ball. Here's Cassell. And the basket is good. Cassell's got seven points. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. 
Has to take Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 156 left here in the third quarter. And slammed dunk by Tatum. And how about Tatum there using his muscle, easily absorbing the contact and still able to knock down the shot. A different look for Louisville. Shumper comes in for John Conshaw. And it's DeLon right in for James Harden. Cassell, the pass to Coffee From the arc. The shot's good, Cassell making the play. Cassell's got three assists now in this one. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Yeah, pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Tatum's shot is off. And stolen by Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Diverse in terms of his offensive talents. Tatum is the type of player who you expect to score at least 20 every night. It's good from long range. Nine points in the game so far. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Outside Tatum to the paint, Whiteside, and it's Whiteside. slammed in by Whiteside. Assisted. Well, this is why Whiteside has a high percentage in terms of his field goals, creates a job inside that he can get done. And Coffey gets it to go. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Smart kicks to Tatum. Passes to Smart. There's the three. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Portis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. He feeds it to Shumper. The rebound by the Celtics. Tatum looking around. Shoots from the baseline. Again, the Celtics good for two. He's been terrific tonight, and with a little help from the other guys on the floor, they might be able to turn this game around. Right for three. Good on the triple. White's got his second basket of the night. And Shumpert surveying the floor and finding the open man, so a nice swing pass on that possession. And so it's Louisville, up by 33 points the as the buzzer sounds. A huge lead for him. And with as many three-pointers as they bring, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. It's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. The coaches talk about it all the time, but to be able to play with that kind of feel, nice play collaborating, improvising, and organic. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. On the court for the Celtics. Marjanovic is out there with Dwayne Dedman. Then it's Neesmith. Then there's Smart. And it's Horde in at the three slot. Oh, and that one's good. Marjanovic. Goes to and they're forcing Aaron the ball Neesmith. inside. And it's working like a charm. On the wing, Brooks fires the three. The rebound by Marjanovic. Brooks has gone one of three shooting so far. Smart on the wing. The pass to Horde. And Shumper pulls it down. Well, you could tell right there he just wanted to go for the jam, but the defense too good and distracting. No good on the triple. Now, here's Neesmith. Defense is right there. Morjanovic kicks to Smart. His three-pointers off the mark. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Inside, and Marjanovic oh, with the Marjanovic. slam. Textbook bounce pass there, perfectly timed. Shumpert passes to Bialica, and the dunk by Bialica. Bialica's game might be mostly finesse, but there are times when he gets aggressive. Fourth quarter now, we're about a minute and a half in. Smart against Brooks. Smart misses. 
Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And with the 2020 class, we saw your teammate, Tim Duncan, get inducted into Basketball's Hall of Fame. And I loved hearing some of the stories that other players and coaches and competitors had around going up against Tim and the, the reverence, the respect uh, that they could never rattle him. And it's so cool to hear those stories from the outside, having been a player so fortunate to be on the inside and understand what made him tick, what made him great, um, and, and just how special he was as a leader for so long for that Spurs organization. Smart passes to Hoare. Smart against Brooks. Pass to Marjanovic. Misses from close range. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. And Andre Robertson is going to pick up the foul. First personal foul. That's his first, first foul. team foul. In for Boston. Here's Pritchard. Brooks covering. Pritchard passes to Brown. Pass to Pritchard. With the drive. Well placed jumper from the free throw line. Yeah, so reliable. He clearly needs to be more involved in the offense as they try to shrink this lead. Time out call, Louisville. And with so many entertainment options these days, Brent, the NBA not shy innovating to attract and retain viewers. Where do you sit with that? Keep it the same or, or be creative? Well, I think the league does a great job of being creative. And I think that, you know, Adam Silver does a, a really good job of not just being a leader, but being a listener. And there's tremendous participation between the Players Association and the commissioner and the ownership group to continue to press the way that the game is played, try to innovate in the way that the game is broadcast. And uh, it'll continue to do those sort of things to draw in uh, the fans that, that love this game and are invited to that kind of competition. Checking in for Louisville. Here's coffee. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Coffee's got 11 points here in just the second half. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Wright. Pritchard passes to Deadman. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Deadman. These defenders just look a bit overmatched, especially inside. Right for three, and again, it's Louisville from deep. Defensively, you can't afford to give him that kind of look, especially down this many points. Teachable moment there. Lapses like this are backbreakers. Passes it to Brown. There's a good screen. Looking to end his cold spell. Off on the layup. And here's Louisville. Now the pass to Coffee. Pulls it up. The rebound by Watford. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot often. Gazelle, the pass to Coffee. That three off the mark. Here's Brown. And the rebound goes to Louisville. Wright's got his fifth rebound in this one. Pass to Robertson. It's stolen by Brown. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. From past the arc. Offensive rebound, Celtics. Here's Horde. It's tipped, and he gets it back. And finally, they hit Jamie one. Horde. 
And it's right with the ball for Louisville. Here's Cassell. Louisville, no good that time either. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Brown outside. That doesn't go either for Brown. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Louisville. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out to this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the best team in just about every single category. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And they've really had a dominant run of games against this opponent this year. They played them Shooting three times Louisville. and won every Andre one. Andre and what a Robinson. tremendous standout performance it was for James Harden. So sharp on the passing tonight. You know, guys can get into a rhythm that way too. That one is off. And a power forward in college. Robertson's been working on increasing his shooting range ever since he entered the league. Bruce Brown, he's checked in for Louisville. Brooks comes in for DeLon Wright. Tatum wide open, he fires one. And it's good, assisting on the play with Hardaway. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Brown outside. It doesn't go for him. Now Boston takes it the other way. To the middle. Shoots from eight. That shot, no good. He's got so many ways to score in the post. Just nifty uses fakes. You have to have a body on him every time he's down there. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Brooks with the bucket. Armani Brooks. So it's Boston now. Here's Pritchard. There's a screen. Down low, Muscala. And the layup's good off the glass. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. 